hear me. You just don't hear me. I mean, you know, I'm not saying you don't listen. You just don't hear what I'm saying. You, know what? you don't listen because you don't care enough to listen. Okay, Amy, Amy, Amy. All right, look at me. Look like, at me. I am looking at, at you. Right. I am looking Lisa at you. Lisa and Nick are going to be here any second. So put on your game face. Yeah. All smiles. These are my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All they right? are your friends. You know why? Because since we've been married, I don't have any friends. <laughs> You know what? I can tell you why you don't have friends. It ain't because oh. we're married. Oh, please, please. I'd love you to know hear what? this. If you give me a freaking I, week, yeah. I can hip you to it, all right? All right. Yeah. Hey! hey. 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 Oh, guys, drinks, the usual? Uh, yeah. yeah, but first, first, we have an announcement we'd like to make. Oh, an announcement. That sounds mm -hmm. exciting. Well, uh, since you guys have such a great marriage, we want you to be the first to know we're getting married. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that's great. God, marriage is so fun. I mean, you know, sometimes it's a little hard, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, Amy, can I, can I talk to you in the kitchen for just a second? Sure, sure. Okay, we'll be right back. One second. Excuse us for one second. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh-huh. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I told you not to embarrass me in front of my friends. You know what? You lost the right to tell me how to act. Six months ago, pal! Oh, don't you bring up the six yeah, months ago, all right? Yeah. Those drugs were prescribed, and that building was already condemned. So don't you dare bring up six okay. months. Hey, should I get those drinks now? Of course I should. Okay. What's going on? Oh, nothing, nothing, no. So have you guys picked a date? Well, we were uh, thinking uh, maybe June. Oh, will you excuse me one second? Yeah. Hello? Oh, hi, Sarah, from work. <laughs> Let me see if I can handle that, that for you. Hey, Nick, you take yours with a twist, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, Doug, I love you so much. I know, I know, I can't wait for you to be here with me. I'm, no, this is definitely over. I wish you were here right now. So, Lisa, you thinking a big wedding or just uh, family and close friends? Uh, we haven't decided yet. Do you know what I would do to you if you were here now? <laughs> no. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, well, you know, big weddings are nice, but there's uh, nothing quite like an intimate little affair. <laughs> no, come now. Come right now. Okay, I'll see you soon. Mwah. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, work business. So I heard you guys are having uh, a small wedding, you said? Oh, come on, what's going on? Yeah. What, what, what are you talking There's nothing going on. There's nothing going on. Yeah. Amy, can I talk to you for just one second in the kitchen? Sure, sure, okay, absolutely. We'll be right back. Excuse us for one second. That looks yummy. Oh, I, I need a drink, okay. huh? That looks good. <laughs> How dare he call here, especially after I caught him in bed wearing my robe? You know what? At least he calls when he says he's going. Oh, 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 excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me, Amy. I have a little thing called a job. It tends to take up a lot of my time. Pardon me. But when I come home from my job, the last thing I expect to find is my wife in bed with my squash partner. <laughs> well, you're ugly. Clam ah! dip? <laughs> I, I think we should go. Yeah. No, 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 nonsense. Sid, Sid, please, please. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. I mean, I have to make that call, you know, that uh, the guy about the car. I gotta make that call. So I'm gonna do that. Can you guys just hold on, enjoy the dip? You know what, actually, I've got a, I left something in the back real quick. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna get it and I'll be right back out. All right, Excuse honey. me, sorry. Yeah, yeah, hey, it's me. I'm calling about the thing. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, $15,000? Okay, is that for the both of them or just my wife? <laughs> Hey listen, hey, listen, pal, I'm not asking you to shoot the president here, okay? All right, all right, okay, fine, 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 just my wife, just my wife, fine, just get it done. Yes, we are cool. So, what do you think, Europe, the tropics? Oh, Europe is nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, um, listen, Amy, can I talk to you for a minute? It's really important. Give me one second, because I just, I'm, I need to clean up just a little bit. Uh, I really need to talk to you right now. Well, look who it is. It's, it's my, uh, it's my friend, Doug. Oh, hey, that's Doug. Hey, Doug, how's it going? Real good to see ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Say, can I talk to the two of you in the kitchen for just one second? Sure, yeah, absolutely. On, Could you guys give us I'm one sorry, second? No, guys, we'll be, it'll be done in a second. Sorry about this, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> How dare you come to my home and embarrass me in front of my friends? You had your chance with her, but you blew it! We are running away whether you like it or not! Oh, really? Well, you know why 
God, I think you'd be surprised the things I could do to stop you. Move, move, move. Hey, listen, I gotta grab that. I gotta uh, get some stuff that uh, Doug is gonna help me with the, yeah. the thing. I'm gonna be right back. It'll, it'll just take a, a second. Yeah. The, the roast is, is in the oven. I'll, I'll be right back. Good luck with your marriage. Eh? Have a nice time, sweetie. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Say, can I talk to you two in the kitchen for just one second? <laughs> Come on over. Here we go. This will just be a minute. Get you back to that dip, huh? <laughs> what are you two thinking getting married? What are you idiots? Everyone gets hurt. I've been with you for the Good evening. I'm Otto Lemon, and this is Washington Journal. Tonight, are the U.S. and North Korea headed for war? Here with me are North Korean ambassador to the United States, Sung Cho Yang, and our interpreter for this interview, Bae Sung. <laughs> ambassador Yang, I understand that you would like to begin with a statement. He say he don't know how you say a, a pie. <laughs> Pie? Yes, a pie, and then what you say, striped? 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 Yes, yes, a striped, and then he say a pie. Striped pie. Striped pie. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, Okay, uh... Okay, Bush. Okay, Dick and Moo. What are you going to do? Okay, Dick and Moo. When you go... Moo. 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 I'm sorry, I don't... Uh... It, 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 it's like a... Moo. Moo. Moo? Moo. Move. Yes, yes, move. <laughs> and then when you say that, when you go, pop. <laughs> pop. It's, it's a puppy. Uh, okay, maybe I could just ask him a question. Uh, Ambassador, in your estimation, is Kim Jong il an unbalanced, volatile presence in your region or a shrewd, calculating dictator? <laughs> What's happening? Okay, it's like uh, it's like it's a, like a cork. It's a cork. Cork. Uh, I'm sorry. Hanguk ma. Jajangmyong. Nah. Who this moron? He no speak Korean. He speak Jiminy Josh. I'm sorry, I don't know how this happened. Who hired this man? Okay. My <laughs> deepest apologies, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> no, please don't. You've, <laughs> you've done enough. No go Babo. Babo? Babo. Babo! Babo! Okay. 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 Now, I don't speak Korean, I don't know what Babo means, but apparently Mr. Young has been insulted, so I'm just gonna wrap this up here. Okay. <laughs> It's like a move. <laughs> All right, bottom line, North Korea launches a missile our way. We launch one theirs. Everybody dies. Good night. <laughs> I was wondering if I could get you to uh, sign this birthday card for our floor leader, Sean. Oh, but I I'm, I'm a temp. I haven't even met him. I don't... Oh, it doesn't matter. Sean's not very popular. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, okay. I can't get anyone to sign it. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, sign really big. It'll fill up the card. <laughs>
What are you sneaky snakes up to? Uh, oh, nothing, Sean. Just working. Working on what? <laughs> A way to get rid of me? No. No, Sean. You're a very popular person around here. Love you. I don't know which one of your faces to believe. The evil one or the eviler one. <laughs> You two-faced tarantula with treacherous, treasonous tentacles. I don't have treacherous, treasonous tentacles. I'm just, I was telling the truth when I said... Beep, 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 beep. That's me backing up a truck of truth through the pauses in your speech, you sneaky snake li liar backstabbing badger with boobs in beige and brown. <laughs> All right, whatever, Sean. I gotta get back to work. Phrase. <laughs> we have not met. My name is Sean, not Lego, so do not toy with me. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Is that all you got? Uh, hello. You know, I got a VCR right up here, sweetie, all right? And I just recorded that. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm gonna put it on a loop for you so you can see what you look like, all right? Uh, hello. 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 Do not make fun of me, you facetious ferret. Do not do it with that, uh, hello. Uh, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make fun of you. I thought you were kidding. Well, I'm as serious as an assassination. <laughs> I want you to watch your step around here, new girl, because you are just a tiny little thing in a pile of cow patties, and you're gonna step in it. <laughs> and do not take your cues from this one, because she is such a sneaky snake, we have to milk her fangs for venom. <laughs> I just knocked a tooth loose and swallowed it. name off that card. Oh, too late. You already signed it. <laughs> already signed what, Sneaky Snake? <laughs> you sabotage my chair. Did you butter the floor? <laughs> What'd you sign? A petition to get rid of me as floor leader? Are you a couple of cuckoos staging a coup? <laughs> We're not, we all know the rules that you can't be removed as floor leader until next calendar year. Mm -hmm. That is right. And until that time, I hold all of you in my hands as if my hands were a nest and you were all robin's eggs. And whenever I feel like making myself an omelet, I'm in. <laughs> In case you are wondering, I just impaled myself in the ass with a palm phone. Ooh, Brian, would you sign this birthday card? Sure. Whose birthday is it? Sean's. Uh, no way, man. Come on. Look, you didn't even sign it. Wait, I'm the only one who actually signed it and I don't even know him? That's pathetic. No, what is pathetic is that no one would even chip in for a cake and now I've got to dig through my purse for a ding-dong and stick a match in it. You are so lucky you're just a temp here. I mean, working with this floor leader, Sean, on a daily basis is the worst. And calls everyone sneaky snakes and he's the sneaky snake. Uh -huh. So he's creeping around so he can nitpick every last thing you do. I mean, come on, khakis with cuffs and white sneakers? I haven't worn anything like that since I was a sophomore rep in student class. <laughs> Hello, Sneaky Snake. Sean! I want you to know something, Sneaky Snake. I am on to you. And you know what? I like talking in whispers to you because I bet it's scarier. When you lay in your head in bed at night, I want you to think, I wonder if Sean knows what I'm dreaming. A uh, hello.
I see your sneaky snake face. <laughs> I saw you. You're gonna feel really stupid in a couple minutes, Sean. Oh, why, is somebody gonna replace my brain with yours? Uh-huh. He's a jolly good fellow. 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 Oh, it's a jolly good fellow. This is what this was all about, all the... I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. I feel awful. I feel very foolish. You're right. I'm sorry. It's okay. We understand. Don't we? Just eat your ding-dong. <laughs> well, I would, but there has been a bite out of it. <laughs> which I think... It must have been another sneaky snake. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm allergic to chocolate, and if I put a lip to that, I would die. All right, so I am now going to go to personnel, and you're all going to be in charge with attempted murder. Goodbye, but, sneaky Sean, snake. Sean, please! No, no, no. Hope that wasn't steroids, the accidental performance enhancer. And there are so many easy ways you can unintentionally take them. You can accidentally let some pills fall into your mouth. Oops. <laughs> you can walk backwards into Jose Canseco, and maybe he'll unintentionally jab you with a needle. Hey, Jose. Hi, Rafi. Ah! Oops, I hope that wasn't steroids. Or you can unintentionally ram some accidental steroid suppositories right up your anus. <laughs> Oops, I hope this isn't steroids. <laughs> but don't take my word for it. Everyone loves accidental steroids, especially the kids. This is my nephew, David. He's only eight years old, but he uses oops, I hope that wasn't steroids, every single day. Hey, Uncle Rafi, can you hook me up for my t-ball game? You know, accidentally. <laughs> Look, David, a plane. He's <laughs> getting in your mouth and he's swallowing like a man. Are you a man or are you a girl? <laughs> Get out there and win. Don't be a loser. <laughs> What's in oops? I hope that wasn't steroids. Who knows? But whatever it is, and I'm almost sure it's steroids, it makes my muscles bigger, it helps me run faster. Me score two runs! <laughs> and it gives me dude boobs. I don't even need a girlfriend anymore. Oh, I feel good. Oh! Why'd you drop the ball? Remember, it's oops. I hope that wasn't steroids. I keep them right in my front pocket, where my testicles used to be. <laughs> Unintentionally. Brought to you by Major League Baseball. Hi, this is Bobby. Hi, and I'm Nicole. We're at the Emmys. We're really at the Emmys right now. The second annual Emmys. It's so awesome. Well, there's been a few more than that. How do you I feel? Know. What are you wearing? What dress are you wearing? I'm wearing um, Bloomingdale's. And uh, Claire's Accessories has been very kind, and they have lent me these earrings for tonight. And don't worry, I'm going to get them back before 6. <laughs> I'm wearing um, Manuel Hernandez. He's a homeless guy that lives outside my house. I'm wearing no underwear so the moisture can really build. But look, Bobby, there's some more Asian people on the red carpet. Can you get these two? Asian people. <laughs> You know what? I have a nickname for you, El Guapo. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you're very handsome. Oh, thank you very much. Not in a sexual way, in just a man kind of way. You are, ex you are, uh, you are very um, attractive in a sexual way, though. Okay, and now? I'm wearing a gown, and people are always saying that to you. No, you're very beautiful. Oh, really? No, I'm not. He's showing more cleavage. You can die from those things. Those things are going to kill someone tonight or save someone's life, depending. Um, what we'd like to do is have uh, nominees rub Bobby Lee's Buddha belly for good luck. Would you like to rub his belly for good luck? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, Even if you lose, you win, OK, my friend? OK, Bobby, that's, he's getting into a little weird. Well, you would think this is a prison film in a minute. This is not a prison film. I have a hobbit he's body. He has a hobbit's body. Okay, I have a hobbit's body. body. Is that street cheese? Is that street cheese, really? I thought if I saw anyone from Matt TV tonight, I would yeah. give them cheese. Who are you wearing tonight, Kathy? 
it's not like anybody was fighting to get you dressed. We're here live with Kathy Griffin, who's always has something outrageous to say. Kathy, who are you wearing tonight? Does it matter? I mean, seriously. Like, I mean, it, it really. I'm okay. Fine. I'm wearing my prom dress from eighth grade. I went with a junior, and I can't even remember his name now. I think it was Chris Melkier, and he had a really bad acne. Chris, if you're watching, I, I'm making more money than you, so it doesn't matter that you wouldn't make out with me in the back of your Pontiac. Is it true Chris is gay now? What? I heard Chris came out. Ugh, story of my freaking life. But let me just tell you, I love the gays. Like, I have nothing against them. But like, seriously? You're not going to start one of your long involved stories. When my hands start to circle like this, you know that it's going to happen. I'm going to start talking about the gays. I'm going to go order a sandwich. This could go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, man. I'm going to leave here. All your success. Oh my god, we did it! You're the last person to get to the Emmy Awards. Yeah, literally. Well, you know what? I've got a lot of beauty regiments involved. Tell, can you tell us about your show? Hot Properties. Yeah, Hot Properties. Friday Nicole's moving up. Yeah, Friday Prime night. Time. Prime Time. Prime Time. Prime Time. There is. What's it? What's it like? Yeah. Prime Time. It's, it's so pretty there. William H. Macy. Mad TV. This we one love for our, we, I'm a big fan of yours, and we love your store. The men's apartment is no I Fargo. The store. You can't get good help. We just got rid of it. Yes, I am not. Yeah. And you know what? We like to have people well first. Hey. Well, let me give you that just in case. Uh, yeah. you know, Thank you very much. You're a winner. You've got that that. Might, yeah, I might win it tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we need that back because I got that out of yeah. my own budget. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but if you like, you can rub Bobby Lee's tummy for uh, good luck. His Buddha belly. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. How, yeah, 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 yeah. How are you? Uh. This looks more like William Hung, me or Bobby Lee. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> it's obvious. It's, it's obvious. obvious. She thinks it's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who has Great. a bigger head, me or William Hung? Simon Cowell. <laughs> Bobby, and we're closing the Emmys. I, but we have to go because it's seriously, it's almost six o'clock. I have to get these earrings back to Claire. Just turn it in tomorrow. It's not a big deal. No, it's seriously, honestly. It's not a big deal. No, honestly, Jackie at, at the manager of Claire's accessories in West Covina Mall, she said that I have to get it back before and she's going to charge me six dollars. Do you have six bucks? I'll pay for it later. You have to pay for it now. Don't you have six dollars? You just spend it all on sweat rags. But you know what? I sweat because I'm small and ethnic and I'm from Cambodia. All right, students, eyes up here, ears open. I'd like to introduce you to today's super role models. Is it Spider-Man? No. Our very special guests are here to teach us that drugs, violence, and gangs are not the answer to life's problems. Now, please welcome the Hype Jingleberries! <laughs> What up, kids? A clown? Not just a clown. Two, Two clowns. clowns. Hey, Noodles, you tried to leave me at home, and now you in trouble. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Big trouble. Oh, uh, no, 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 we no, just no, kidding. No, we no, just no, kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> Seriously, we are an inner city clown group. Clowning? Isn't that just a bunch of stupid tricks? <laughs> Usually, but we're here to let you know that you are not alone in your anger, hatred, and feelings that you want to murder somebody. That's right. How many of you guys here have ever felt like you wanted to kill somebody? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, yeah! Inner City Clown Group spread joy and a positive message through grumping. Grumping? Oh. Hit it.
is an expression of all the emotions wrapped up inside. If I didn't have crumping, Crumpin' is an expression of strength. And strunk. Crumpin' is a way to get away from the violence. Crumpin' is a way to get away from the streets where there is no justice. Crumpin' is a way to get away from the pit it 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 is who are out to kill. Kids. that white girl. <laughs> she's okay. And she's... I'm fine. She's fine. I'm fine. So... Okay, <laughs> great. Yay. You know, it's library time for us, so thank you for uh, coming. Uh, 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 uh. musical numbers here. Uh, uh no. Um, here's $27. Okay, thank you very much. My name is Noodles, and this is... <laughs> I said my name is Noodles, and this is... I'm Nippy. And together, we are the Hot, Hot Jingleberry. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> In 1955, an Alabama seamstress named Rosa Parks refused to give up her bus seat to a white passenger. Her defiance helped launch the civil rights movement, making her an American icon and a national treasure. Well, Rosa, sit your black ass back down, because you're about to be roasted by Comedy Central. With Chris Rock. Because she's wrinkly, ugly, stank. Don't know when to shut her mouth. She walked with a cane, and she got no panic. But we're here to talk about Rosa Parks, not Kathy Griffin. Oh! Kathy Griffin! But speaking of back of the bus, my face has been pulled so much, it stretches to the back of the bus. <laughs> but seriously, I would rather, I would rather be on the D-list than be on the KKK list. All right, let's go. <laughs> McDonald. Rose is famous, you know. She's a uh, she's on the uh, front of that pitted prune box. You know, you ever see that one? Hey! Yeah. Hey, you guys see that one? Huh? Yeah, like prunes, gay people. You know? Hey! Look, there's a gay guy eating prunes. You see that everywhere, you know? Dennis Rodman! Okay, that's uh, all that's done. What happened? I'm having stuff with Tom and Lecter and get FTD. Hey. <laughs> if it were up to me, I would go to the back of your bus and then I would. Deep South. I was backstage and I saw Rosa taking a d but when I looked closer, it was just Wanda Sykes smoking a cigar. And your Roastmasters, Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee. Rosa and I have more in common than you think. We both got screwed on a bus in Alabama. Hey, my is like a bus. It's long and it's thick and it's 
just as yellow because of my hepatitis. <laughs> I'm shocked and appalled. I did not stand up for your civil rights so you could violate mine. I'd wash all y'all's mouths out with soap, but I wouldn't want that soap to get AIDS. <laughs> 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 What's worse, your <laughs> movies or your <laughs> fake teeth? <laughs> and Pam Anderson, you've been on your knees more than Tom Cruise in the Scientology steam room. <laughs> hey, all right, uh, Tommy Lee, take your big white <laughs> and strangle Kathy Griffin with it. <laughs> her face is uglier than Dennis Rodman's <laughs> Piers Nut <laughs> And who in the <laughs> is Nick DePaul? <laughs> the Comedy Central Roast of Rosa Parks. Playing nonstop for the next six weeks.